Back now with Inside the Issues, where we're looking at the role millennials are playing in politics. In the state legislature, there are currently 11 millennials. Four of them hail from Southern California. Democratic State Assembly Member Ian Calderon partnered with fellow millennial Republican Assembly Member Kevin Kiley two years ago to form the state's first millennial caucus. This bipartisan group of legislators focuses on the challenges members of their generation face here in the Golden State. Our Sacramento correspondent Serena Sandoval brings us this profile of one of the caucus's members. On behalf of the LGBT caucus, I invite... At 31, Sabrina Cervantes represents the 60th district. Which includes the cities of Corona, Norco, East of El Harupa Valley, and the city of Riverside. She's currently serving her second term in office and was first elected to the state legislature in November of 2016 at age 29. Being the eldest of four girls, I certainly uh, had a lot on my shoulders. Cervantes graduated from UC Riverside 10 years ago, and it was there that she discovered her calling for public service, even though it's in her family history. Uh, my father was the mayor of our city when I was just a young girl. Uh, my mother has been a teacher for 30 years now in our public school system. Despite this tradition of service, she faced many challenges, particularly with gathering support prior to her election. I always felt that we, I was always underestimated. During her first six months in office, she received a unique opportunity to prove herself. The Capitol's youngest legislator was summoned to the governor's mansion to negotiate face-to-face -face with Governor Jerry Brown, an opportunity that many lawmakers never receive. As a millennial, we had to elevate ourselves to a whole nother level uh, because we are still often disregarded and, and underestimated as leaders. As a result of that meeting, Brown approved nearly half a billion dollars for the Inland Empire, including $427 million for transportation projects, $18 million for parks, and $16 million for four small cities. As a young gay Latina legislator, Assemblymember Cervantes understands challenges firsthand and encourages all young people to never give up. You don't have to know you know where you're going right away you don't have to know where you'll end up but just start somewhere for inside the issues i'm serena sandoval and our thanks to serena for that story when we return another woman breaking down political barriers meet california's youngest ever female mayor that's coming up after this brief break <laughs> 